So I just wanted to do a quick comparison of the Pilot G2 and the Pilot Juice. These are both uh, very affordable, retractable gel pens from Pilot. Uh, so they're, I figured, worth a quick comparison. Uh, the G2, I won't spend too long on it. It's super common, very easy to find. Uh, often regarded as the best office or everyday pen sold. And I, uh, I tend to feel like that. Uh, they sell for you know about maybe a dollar fifty on its own, and you can get them for well under a dollar if you buy larger packs, you know like twenty four packs. The juice uh, sells for about maybe a dollar eighty. They're definitely not as common here in the U.S., but you can find them. They're definitely available in large packs on Amazon. Uh, both pens are sold in a point three eight millimeter, a point five, and a point seven, and a one dot millimeter. Uh, though, and the juice is available in a huge degree of colors. Whereas the G2 is available, I think in less colors, but still a lot. Like uh, it's probably negligible, but the, the juice is available in like every color imaginable, including uh, a gold and a silver and stuff like that. And uh, even a white, okay. So uh, just moving on to the design, I won't spend super long. Uh, the G2 is largely regarded as being very popular or very very comfortable, and I tend to agree. I like the grip a lot. It's well balanced. It's nice and light. All plastic parts, but mine have always held up well. I know some people have complained about build quality with them. There can be some wiggle here, uh, but nice click. Uh, some people complain the cartridge doesn't last that long, but I haven't really had that problem. This is a point. It says 0.5 million on the body, but uh, just. So we're apples to apples. I've replaced this refill with a 1.0 millimeter. As for the juice, I recently did a review. So if you want a thorough uh, look at it, you should check that out. But it also has a grippy area down here, but it's not contoured or it's like very slightly contoured. It's got that very short nose piece, has a spring or a sprung clip. And uh, I guess similar tapered button area up there nice click but you don't have to press it as hard as the g2 i think g2 is known to have a pretty firm click this one is smoother and lighter in a lot of ways the juice feels like an updated g2 it's not uh but it does feel like the uh, like the 2017 or whatever came out like it just feels like the newer model and maybe it's newer than maybe it's older than that uh so it just feels like it's kind of more recent. Uh, so similar design, they're both gel pens, they're both archival quality ink. I uh, haven't really been able to find anything online about the inks being different. They're both gel pens, obviously, both are water resistant, fade resistant. Uh, I believe they're both archival quality. Uh, if you look at the model, you could see it's Pilot LP2RF-8M, Japan, and this is Pilot LG2RF-8M. So uh, if anyone knows what those codes mean, I'll be curious to hear about it. Uh, this one is appended with that G2, uh, it says 10, but it just means 1.0 millimeter. Again, these are both 1.0 mil millimeter. And uh, I just wanted to do that for comparison. So get on to the writing. Uh, this is the 1.0 millimeter, millimeter blue black. This is the 1.0 millimeter in blue. Did a quick sample. And this is on, if anyone cares, this Triumph paper from Claire Fontaine. So it's, it's basically a very smooth, like ink resistant paper. Uh, so start off with the juice again. Nice lines, very smooth. Blue black ink I think is quite nice. No real complaints there. And now we'll move over to the pilot. Definitely more of a blue. Uh, I guess if I should have bought the juice in a true blue instead of the blue black, but I, I just can't resist a good blue black. 
Pilot is uh, definitely laying down more ink. It's more of a bold feel. I've always liked the 1.0 millimeter Pilot. It just, it feels like it's putting down a lot of ink. The Pilot 1.0 and the Energel 1.0, which I'll actually, I'll put this one down just for reference because I can't, can't resist. Energel 1.0. That's more along the lines of that uh, Pilot G2 and less, and the juice is just coming out a little bit thinner. So I wouldn't say one is really hugely different than the other. If anything, the juice is smoother and just like it requires like basically no effort. I know some people have complained about the G2 being a little bit scratchy and you could feel that when you're writing where the, uh, the juice is just really effortless. It, just, it does feel a little bit more modern. And the, uh, the Pilot G2, it can pick up those, like, uh, those smears if you are writing a lot in one direction. That's definitely an issue with the 1.0 millimeter size. And I haven't seen that as much in the juice. So I think that's actually a really nice advantage to the juice, especially if you're left-handed. Uh, here, I'll start on a fresh piece and I'll just prove out. So I'll clean this off and go one, two, three. And you could see that accumulation at the end. With the juice, we'll clean it off and we'll do one, two, three. Nothing, and that's both in the 1.0 millimeter. If anyone cares about the Energel, clean it off and go one, two. Some accumulation, but not a huge amount. So the juice is the big winner there. Smoother, uh, I would say higher quality ink, just as far as handling. Uh, and then just to wrap this up, two similar pens, similar cost base. Uh, I know so many people love the G2 and I'm one of those people. I have lately been picking up the juice and preferring it. So I would definitely say if you haven't tried these yet, give it a shot. It's a nice pen. I think it's actually uh, pretty good looking, uh, available in a bunch of different sizes. And while it's not a direct upgrade from the G2, it is starting to really feel like the, uh, the upgrade to the G2. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please do leave them below and I'll do some follow-up videos.